Okay, we've got the panel lines done. Next thing to do are rivets. You can see these little tiny dots in here, maybe. And these are the rivets. So these planes had these rivets that went out. Um, so I've kind of measured this. And let's go and do those. So scale rivets. Best thing you can use is a caliper. Caliper is just going to give you that consistent measurement as you go across here. This is pretty straightforward. What I'm going to do, I'll start from over here. And I'm going to put my first one. So I need a starting point. And we're going to put it there. And then, it's as simple as just putting a mark. So you want to put a mark, you want to put a rivet right, in real life they had a rivet right in that corner to hold those corners down. So I'm just going to put one as it is right there. Then we're going to work from that mark out. Put one here. Put one here until we get all finished. We have all our marks done. Okay, cut. This is what we need to use as we do these rivets that we're going to be putting in. It's a brass pipe split and then I've got a piece of brass inside to give the screw effect. Okay, and so let me show you how this goes. What we're going to do, I've done a couple already, but it's pretty straightforward. I've got this on a soldering gun and all I've done was just push this tip on or push that tube onto the tip. I put a little slice on there inside there. And it's pretty straightforward to do. I've given a little bend to make it a little bit easier for me. Okay now so this is what you want to show. This is what I want to show you. Now that area right there had some fiberglass on there and some resins and really the resins I held it too long so now I'm going to do another one I, that's why I did it in this area and I'm going to do another one and this one's going to be quick I'm going to put it on my mark I'm going to take it off and see that and you just start playing with this The quicker you do it you'll find the right time to be able to keep this on and you don't have to keep it on very long to get your mark. And you can see that's already starting to loosen up. But don't worry about it. And just start, and you can see I'm rotating this slightly to get different angles. And you can see I'm not holding it on very quick. I'm trying to keep it steady to a point. Just get it on and get it off. So get it on, one one thousand. So it's basically about a second if I were to give a count. A little bit longer and it may pick up some of that. And that's it. That's all that's involved to doing these. You just keep moving your way down and as we go, and it doesn't have to be perfect. This thing's going to be moving in the air, hopefully. Yeah, okay, so if you missed up a little bit, do another one. And you can see I rotate this so I don't have all the screws looking like they're all perfectly stopped. And that's it. We just keep moving our way across here. not much to it. And these are making some really cool looking screws, rivet screws. You know that have those that have the heads, the screw heads on them. And uh, I'm liking the way this is looking. It's giving a nice relief. You can feel the screw on there too. That really gives a great effect. 